Hey girlfriend, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Kobe. Thanks for joining me on another video. I hope you liked my last one. Today we're doing something quick and easy. It's this hair tutorial. Don't really know what we're gonna call these curls, but we'll figure it out together. Leave me some comments down in the comment section on what we should call this, okay? Literally only took me 15 minutes and you only need a few products. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends. And if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I brushed my hair all out. I'm gonna use this Argan Magic Intensive Hair Oil um, to add some shine in my hair. It smells really good, so sometimes I don't even need it and I still use it because it smells that good. And I got ready and I'm already dressed because I'm going to brunch with my friends and I just wanted to hop on right quick and film my hair because I've gotten so many compliments on how good my hair's been looking and the way I've been curling it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm using the Nano Titanium um, by Babyliss Pro. I think this is the one and a fourth inch um, curling iron. There is an easier way to do this. And if you have like a small barreled curling iron, that's the easiest way, like a, probably an inch or if there's something smaller than an inch, it's the easiest way. But this, I don't have one of those. So this is the way that I have been doing it and it works for me so I'm gonna split my hair in half like always because you guys know I do the half then the whole or then the sides or whatever so split my hair in half I take one piece in the back you don't have to use dry shampoo if you don't want to I did my hair like this the other day so it still has some in it so I'm not going to use any so I take the uh flat iron like normal I like to press my roots down and then I turn it towards me once grab the hair turn it towards turn it away from me one more time or once and pull it and then let it sit there for a second pull it a little bit more leave the ends out straight and then pull it down and this is what it's going to look like okay and then because you're going to brush it out i wait until i'm done with the section and then i spray it so one more time Press the roots down and then flip it, pull, flip it again, and pull. And I think when your hair is shorter, if I can remember correctly, when my hair is shorter and I do this, I only have to flip it one time. But because it's longer, I have more uh, space to create the bend. So what we're doing is creating these bends, like these really sharp bends in our hair. And then that you want to make sure the ends are like super duper straight just like that so this is what it's gonna end up looking like and so I'll spray it I'm using my Pantene air spray as always spray it and then I'm gonna take the ends together and just run over it one time with the flat iron because you want it to be like literally stick straight okay, so i'm gonna do this side my right side as you guys know is always harder for me to curl because i just feel like i don't know what i'm doing like i get flustered on this side i'm gonna take it away from me first pull and pull again leaving the ends out and then drop it and this one's still on this side is gonna go away from you. And you can do this. I've done it with my short hair. It's so much easier. And I'm I'll do a video when I don't have long hair. But with my short hair, it's much easier because you're only doing the bin one time. I did it once. I was like, let me just try it. See if I can do it with my long hair. And I think it looks so cute. It's just so different than the normal like bouncy curls that you normally do, right? Also, with my short hair, I take it in different directions. So I'll go one way this, one way flipping it this way, the, uh, another time flipping it another, an like another strand flipping it another way. So like, since I went this way with that one, I would go this way with it, like I would go towards my face. 
with it. Okay, now we're gonna split the top half and it's so easy, like time-wise, like it's so much faster because you're not having to sit with the iron on your hair as long and you're only doing like half the work. What do you think about it? I'll split this one in half. And then it's just the same thing. You really wanna make sure that the roots are pressed good so that you don't have anything sticking up. And then you'll see on the shorter pieces when I get closer to the front of my face, I won't flip it as many times. And the key to the the key to this look is the straight ends like you can bend your hair all you want to but if the ends aren't super straight it kind of just doesn't make it what it is And then the top parts, like the crown of my head, like I said, just make sure it's smooth. Okay, it's happening. What the heck is happening? Okay, whatever. Just make sure it's smooth at the top. And then I take the crown of my head, I take it like up and over. And obviously, I'm no professional hairstylist. This is just the way I like to do. Like, I like to style my hair. It's just something different than your normal, everyday curls. And it takes less time. Okay, so spray it, and then I flip my hair over before I brush it out. I just kind of run my fingers through it, and then pat it full, like, kind of place it, I guess you could say, like, place where I want the hair to be. And you could easily, easily keep it like this. I'm not, though. <laughs> so I'm going to brush them out only a little bit. So, like, I keep... The front one kind of so keep the front one kind of in its same same uh same form and just kind of brush it behind the hairs and then just 
just kind of run my fingers through run my fingers through your hair <laughs> just kind of run my fingers through the top half and just like i said place it the way i want kind of you know pull it apart because it's gonna get big and so that's why i don't really want to brush it out yet like too much so yeah this is what this is how i like to keep it and then just like play with it through the day so this is the final look i'm literally about to run out of the door to go meet my good girlfriends but get into this like it literally took me not even 15 minutes to do this so we i'm giving you quick makeup looks and quick hair tutorials okay this is how i've been wearing my hair like the last two weeks when i've gone out or curled it or anything like that and it's so super duper easy i'll leave this linked i'll leave this linked and i'll leave my flat iron linked. this you literally only need three things to make this look what it is and it's just fun and cute and this also lasts for a few days the best way i like to preserve this look is to um like do like a plait like a loose plait and it kind of just keeps the same form so don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their neighbor to be a part of the girlfriends follow me on instagram and twitter and i'll see you guys on the next one peace